just introduced, and uh, I'm privileged to lead our, our product development team here at Ford Motor Company. Um, but I want to personally thank uh, everyone for coming out to Michigan, for bringing your beautiful cars, your beautiful GTs to Dearborn, and uh, most of all for your continued support of Ford Motor Company. Um, it's great to be among the most loyal Ford Bleed Blue fans that we have. Um, just a, a couple of bits of housekeeping first. Um, now obviously, we're really proud to bring uh, a lot of the, the models and the styrofoams and the clays and the sketches we've uh, used in, in developing the new GT, but please keep in mind these are studio models. Um, they're really fragile. Um, uh, most of them are clay or, or light styrofoam, so please do not touch any of the properties. Um, that's the, the one thing that'll break our hearts if we lose one of, one of the properties. Uh, uh, the other thing is, I know this is all about the Ford GT, but we uh, have been a little bit on a roll as far as Ford performance, and we're rolling out a lot of great vehicles. One of those great vehicles that we're finally also taking global is the Focus RS. And we're actually going to be raffling off a Focus RS, so you have an opportunity to win a Focus RS. I'm not sure where we're selling the tickets. Does anybody? Was it a World Headquarters yesterday? They're supposed to be here today as well. The winning ticket will be sold wherever they're sold today, I'll tell you. <laughs> so, so um, you know, uh, you're probably looking at one of the bigger fans of, of the, the Ford GT right here. And, um, you know, I was lucky enough to be a small part of the original team. I got out my old launch jacket and to dig deep in the the closet for it. it feels a little tighter than I remember. <laughs> um, but I was lucky enough to, to play a small part in, in working with, you know, really one of the, the best teams that I ever worked with and, and obviously uh, one of the, the products, of the many products I've worked on, one of the most, ones I'm most proud of, whatever small role I played in that. And, and we all kind of viewed that as certainly a once in a lifetime opportunity and, and certainly me getting the chance to own one of them, owning my 06 Tungsten was, I thought was gonna be the peak of that. Um, but uh, sometimes those once in a lifetime opportunities come around twice. <laughs> and um, so uh, the chance of the 50th anniversary coming up and um, for a company like us where we're, we're at our heart of family company and heritage means so much to us. Just a lot of us felt we, we have to do something to celebrate that. And um, certainly returning to Le Mans coupled with being able to do a production car was the highest point of delivery and beyond our dreams and to some point, but we decided to shoot for that anyway. And um, fortunately the car has always, the GT has always represented something special to Ford. Um, it, there's a lot of emotion in, in the campus and in the building around it. and so. Um, through a lot of hard work and a lot of team members you're going to talk to that are, are here right now, we were able to put something together um, that um, the CEO and the chairman and the board were able to support. Um, it's not just about that heritage though, it is, it's about the innovation that we stand for as a company now. Uh, and hopefully you see that in all the products, you know, whether it's uh, the light weighting, whether it's the aerodynamics, whether it's EcoBoost engines, you see that taken to the nth level in the Ford GT, and so it means so much more to us than just a single car. It, it says everything about our capabilities as a company, our capabilities as an engineering team, and seeing all of that down in the rest of the Ford family of vehicles. Um, so on all of these fronts, we think we're really pushing all those aspects with the new GT um, to the to the to love the boundaries, to the areas we didn't think we could even go, and some of the technologies that we're, we're going to be talking about later, we can't talk about all of them now, but you know about quite a bit of it. So, but on that front, um, I'm, I'm thrilled to share a little bit of news that I hope you guys are um, going to take well related to the ownership process. Obviously, a lot of you um, have expressed interest in purchasing the production version uh, of the next generation Ford GT, and I saw a lot of you at, at the dinner last night. Thanks for all those drinks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did, 
didn't have to pay for a drink all night. It was great. Um, There's more. <laughs> so obviously a lot of interest in the vehicle, and and also um, you know very different than um, the 0506 GT because of the technologies we're using, because of the production processes. Um, it's a very limited run at 250 years. So this is going to going to be. Um, you know, the rarest Ford model that we've ever done. Um, so, clearly there's been a, an aspect of a lot of questions about how's this ordering process, how's this allocation process, et cetera, gonna work. So, uh, today I can tell you that we're gonna have a very unique process uh, relative to um, ordering and, and getting a Ford GT. It's gonna be a, a program that's gonna commence at the beginning of next year, so it doesn't start today. Uh, but at the beginning of next year, um, we're going to launch this process. But a couple of key takeaways about the process um, that I want to communicate today. Um, first, uh, the next generation Ford GTs will be assigned on a customer basis. Right. So we're going to have a, a customer application process that will open up beginning of next year. And that's going to offer, offer basically a personalized experience for every Ford GT buyer. Uh, anyone can apply, but priority is going to be given to loyal Ford customers, including current Ford GT owners. Yeah. So applicants are going to be uh, selected through that process. They'll be assigned a car by Ford and then complete the purchase through a Ford GT certified dealer of their choice. So we'll continue to provide more detail about that ownership process in, in the coming months, um, um, but hopefully that reassures, reassures you um, how we feel about you, uh, our customers, and how we want to make sure that this vehicle is about the people who've been loyal to us in the past and loyal to this car in the past. Um, so hopefully, uh, in the meantime, you enjoy your visit here at, at the PDC, and um, we'll be hanging around a little bit to take uh, questions as those that we can answer. Um, and please, no money should exchange hands. <laughs> application process. That speech is for my guys more than it is for you. Um, but uh, here today, we also have Chris Benson and Anko. Leonard's who pay key parts in the design process of the car, and uh, they'll be here, I think, until noon, is that right, Chris? Uh, to answer any questions you may have. So, with all of that, thanks again for being our, our best and most loyal customers, and thanks for coming out today. Thank you.